Hey guys, we got a quick one for you today. We're gonna to be building a ramp for my friend's garden shed. It's gonna be about five feet by five feet when we're done and eight inches of rise. So what I've done is I've picked up some two by six pressure treated boards to use as the decking for the ramp. And that's simply because it's gonna to have to hold the weight of a big lawn tractor. So I really wanted it to be beefy. I didn't really trust the five quarter standard decking boards. So I've got six two by six by 10 boards, which will all get cut in half to five feet long. And then this two by eight by 10 board, which is gonna get cut in half and then cut on the diagonal. And that'll be the support for all the decking above. Let's go ahead and get everything chopped in half. Well guys, unfortunately it seems the pressure treated boards I left sitting here overnight were a bit wetter than I thought they were. You can see everything's got a nice layer of rust to it. There's even a few spots that might be potential problems, but it's okay. I'm going to show you how to deal with this. I've got my random orbit sander and a piece of steel wool attached to the bottom. And I'm just going to go over everything and try to loosen up all this rust. If there's any spots that are a little bit heavier and it's not coming up right away, I am going to have to go to about a 240 grit sandpaper to take care of that. After that's all done, I'm going to use some paper towels and some mineral spirits and give everything a super good wipe down because right after that, it's going to need a nice paste waxing and buffing. And this will make the saw actually perform a little bit better than it did before because a nice wax surface will let the board slide right across the top. So this was kind of due anyways, you know, not the rust, the repaste waxing. As soon as we're done, this thing will be good as new or in this case, 25 years old. Over here at the table saw, we're going to rip down these two by eights, which are seven and a quarter wide to six and a half inches because the ramp needs to have a height of eight inches. So the one and a half inch thickness of the decking boards on top, we need to subtract from that. So that's how we get six and a half. So we'll rip those down. Then we'll start cutting these up into gigantic triangles. So next we got to cut up these two boards into four huge triangles. So I've got my straight edge here, which is just a straight piece of melamine. I'm going from this corner to this opposite kitty corner, as it's called. And I'm just going to simply mark my line all the way down. So over at the bandsaw, we'll cut both of these out. So next I'm going to mark out a little bird's mouth here at the back side. This is going to be the bottom. There's going to be a two by six that spans all the way across all four of these in the back bottom. And this is mostly to create surface area with the ground. So as the heavier parts get up to the top, there's a lot of surface area pushing down on the ground. So this doesn't sink. So I've got this set to five and a half, which is a two by six width. And I'll mark all of these right now. And then I'll set this to one and a half the thickness of the two by four. And then we'll just cut those out real quick at the bandsaw. So I've got all four of my triangular pieces laid upside down right now. This bird's mouth area is the back bottom side and that's gonna have this two by six stretcher attached to the bottom. We're gonna do this first, get this all attached, then flip it over and start working on the decking starting at the back. Now for attaching this and all the decking boards, I'm going to be using my drywall gun because it has an auto depth gauge where it just stops at a certain point and it looks really good on a finished outdoor piece. And I'm going to be using these three inch decking screws. And before I attach anything, I'm making sure to use my big square to make sure everything stays nice and aligned. Obviously right now this is not aligned, but the square is going to be your friend on this because if it gets out of whack up here, it's going to be a nightmare down there.
So as you can see, there's not a lot of meat left down here, and I don't think pre-drilling is enough to actually give us the support we need. So these last two boards from the underside, I'm gonna be drilling pocket holes over at my homemade pocket hole machine and attaching them to this board and then this board to this board in this direction, again, from the underside so you don't see these nasty pocket holes. And I think that's really where all the strength's gonna come from these last ones, since again, this is not much material left here. Just like Christmas.